I'm Ken Anders with ProFoam down here in Rutledge, Georgia at our Manufacturing Training Center. And I wanted to show you something. Um, when you're changing over materials from open cell to closed cell or uh, just different products, different brands, things like that, if you're not going into the same material, you really want to do a changeover process. Um, in the old days, you might have been able to kind of, get, kind of get away with moving your transfer pump, spraying some out, and calling it good. That's really not the case anymore. With the chemicals that we're using today, they, these resin sides really do not like each other. So we want to have as little contact between one product resin and another contract, uh, product resin as we can. Absolutely as, as minimal contact as possible because they can actually, in some cases, gel up inside your system. That becomes a real problem. So at ProFoam, we're putting on this piece right here. This is a change, uh, an air purge changeover system. It's available on our app or on our website, but it's basically a T with an adapter, a check valve, that check valve is very important, a ball valve, so I can control the airflow like that, and a quick disconnect fitting. So what I can do with this is now when I'm done with this product, I can take the airline off this transfer pump and connect it here, take my gun off the end of the hose, and I'll hold the B side or the blue side over the small hole on the opposite side of the drum because that's this is what's in the system now, so I can put it right back in this drum. I'll open this valve. That allows compressed air to go in here, and the check valve keeps fluid from going backwards. That's why it's so important. But the air can go this way, and it's going to blow that material down through the hose, through the machine, through the spray hose, and back into this drum. So we, we get to capture that material at least 85 to 90 percent of it. Okay. Um, once we have that bled out with air, close our valves. Let the let the air pressure down. Let the stuff close this valve. We'll take this transfer pump out and clean it up as best we can, wiping it down, pouring any fluids out of it that we can. Move it into the drum of new fluid, reconnect our airline to the transfer pump motor. The pump will start pumping and refilling the system, but while it's doing that, you want to open the, the B side of your spray hose, the end of the hose, over a bucket. Purging with air got probably 85 to 90 percent of the chemical out, but there's still a little bit in there that just doesn't want to come out by itself. As this refills the system, it's going to push that remaining chemical ahead of it and into that bucket. That's going to be a mix, that chemical you need to get rid of. It's no good. You cannot spray it. it. You can't mix it back in a drum or anything like that. You just got to get rid of that. And I'd probably let about a gallon and a half, two gallons, three gallons into that bucket. And then you should be clear enough you can put your gun on and start spraying that new product without having it turn to gel in your system and everything else. So this is a really cool feature that, that ProFoam is doing. Um, helps you successfully do those changeovers and not make bad foam. I'm Ken Anderson with ProFoam. Thanks for watching.